Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF17 and we're looking at the hub modes and symbology. So first of all, let me show you how to switch between the modes. We can either use master mode switch, next mode and previous mode, or we can use the T1, air to ground mode, nav mode and BVR. And to get in the dogfight mode, we can get to the dogfight mode there. Note that today that we are not looking at any weapon or radar specific symbology. That will come on the radar and the weapon type video. First thing I want to point out is that we are currently in nav mode here. And we'll work our way around in a clockwise fashion. This here is the maximum G that we have pulled on our journey so far at 1.3 G. Here is our pitch ladder, so that there would be minus 5 degrees, minus 10 degrees, and you can tell it's minus because it's hashed, and you've got plus 5 degrees there, and you've got horizon line there. Down here we have a roll indicator. The carrot shows where we are on the roller indicator. That is 0 degrees, 10, 20, 30, 45, and 60 degrees and the other way. Next we have our timings. This is mission time, currently uh, two minutes past eight. This is regarding our currently selected waypoints. It's telling us that we are using flight plan A. From flight plan A we are using waypoint 01 and the distance between us and waypoint 01 is 17.8 nautical miles. Delta T here is the time that it would take from us to get from where we are to the waypoint at current parameters and that will change with speed and what not. Here is our radar altitude in feet. Here is our barometric altitude in feet, exactly 6547. Remember that this has to be zeroed with QFE. Here is our vertical velocity times 100 feet per minute, so that is plus 200 feet per minute, so we're going up slightly at the moment. Here is our current fuel in pounds. Here is our heading tape, so you've got 020, 3030, and we're currently heading at that carrot there, which is on 034. Note that that can be magnetic or true heading, depending on settings that we'll look at in a different video. This cross here is our what we call our boresight cross, otherwise known as our longitudinal axis or Dayton cross. This is where the aircraft is pointing. This is our velocity vector, which includes the circle, the wing, the wing, and the fin this is also called our path marker and it shows where the aircraft is actually traveling the difference between the borsai cross and the path marker is our angle of attack in degrees we'll come back to this funny shaped chap in a minute next is our current angle of attack in degrees so one degrees angle of attack currently here is our current g 1.0 g just normal earth's gravity here is our speedo in knots and that's CAS, calibrated airspeed, and we can tell that because of the C there. Next, if we go down, is our MAC, currently a MAC 0.56. This is our master arm status. Currently, it's, it's ready. If it was put on safe, it would say safe. Now, we're going to look at some navigation-specific symbology. This box here visualizes where our waypoint 1 of flight plan A is, so it's out there on the C to our left slightly. And this guy here is the waypoint steering queue. I like to call it the tadpole. It gives you information on how to get to the waypoint as well as how to stay on course. There's two different things. Getting to a waypoint and staying on the course between two waypoints is a very different thing. It also gives us our distance to the waypoint. So in terms of steering to the waypoint, we can tell because it's slightly off to a left angle at the moment, we need to steer left. We can tell the distance of the waypoint by how far up this line this vertical queue is here it shows 10 miles at maximum and once we get to 10 miles it will decrease until we get to zero miles and the course queue is this little circle here the closer it is to the middle of our path marker or our velocity vector here the more that we are on course the further it is off to the left or to the right that's the further we are off course it's a really good piece of tech this is for a staying on course B, knowing how the distance to your uh, waypoint. C, staying on the correct heading. One more to go through is that associated with waypoints are speeds. So this waypoint has an associated speed of 340, I can't remember if it's IAS or CAS uh, knots, but it's, uh, it's 340. And that shows that our targeted speed for that waypoint is 340, while our actual speed is 331. So what we're going to do is we're going to get on speed and we're going to get on waypoint and we're going to get on course now. So we're going to unpause. Going to move towards the waypoint. You can see that the steering queue 
is now steering upright you can see that we're slightly off course we zoomed in there we're off course there so we would need to pull to the left to get back on course and we've actually shot past our speed because we're now 355 and our targeted speed was 340 we'll cover this more in the navigation video but that's all i wanted to show at the moment okay so let's switch to some other modes i'm going to switch mode now i've now got ag air to ground major differences is that the waypoint steering information and speed information has gone the timing information has gone down this is going to allow extra room here for uh, targeting and the roll indicator has disappeared if we go down again we get to intercept otherwise known as bvr in most aircraft and it's done the same thing got rid of that there it's moved that down and got rid of our uh, waypoint information if we went back to nav everything comes back and if we go to dogfight we're not going to go through dogfight symbology here but you can see that if we go to dogfight it, it declutters a lot of the stuff out of the way so we've lost all the heading tape and stuff like that so stuff that it considers not essential in dogfight i'm going to head back to intercept or bbr there we go there and now we're going to have a look at some extra options if i detach myself here we're currently showing CAS, uh, that's calibrated airspeed if we wanted uh, TAS, that's true airspeed, completely different measurement of speed depending on your tactical situation. Uh, interesting, uh, we've also got hard brightness, we've got hard contrast there. Also have a standby reticle here just in case. And we can get rid of that. Uh, we have some more HUD control down here. We can have our normal HUD which is what we're looking at or we can have a decluttered version where it takes some of the symbology away there here are uh, day or night mode so we can have night mode there set up the brightness and whatnot for day or night that's all we've got to show on hud and hard modes at the moment hope that was useful and see you later